see him shining in the background there. There we go. Good morning, Vlad. Now, Vlad has obviously had quite a cold night, so much like our monitor lizard, is now going to spend some time basking in the sun and warming up. And it's amazing how warm it's gotten all of a sudden. Now that that sun's up a little bit, it actually has got quite a bite to it. And so for a reptile, a cold-blooded reptile, that is exactly what is needed to be able to then get going and start hunting this afternoon again. And you'll find he'll spend probably most of the day there and will only then start hunting in the late afternoon, which is quite typical of these crocodiles. But once again, Chitwa Dam is just a hive of activity. There's swallows, there's the crocodiles, there were a few water buck around at one point, the goslings, and it's, it's just such a pretty place to come in the mornings and just spend a bit of time and kind of take in the sounds of nature as well as the sort of sights. And particularly now with the sun kind of hitting our backs just to be still for a little bit is quite nice. Oh, well, there's a fish eagle as well, well spotted Seb. So our fish eagle is also just taking it easy. Now, I did get an update it is a very broken update i could not hear exactly what the guys were saying but all i got was that tundi tamba and the cubs for karula which would be hosana and shongile as well as a birmingham male all involved in some sort of inter interaction with a carcass so i don't know where they all are or if it is all together but it sounds quite interesting. I'm going to try and see if I can't get better radio comms and find out exactly. But it sounds like somewhere on Little Gauri, which would explain our hyenas as well. So maybe they were involved in the whole mix at some point as well and why they've all got big sort of full bellies. But it would be interesting if Tandi, Tamba, Shongila and Hosana are indeed in the same place. 